Hello folks, welcome to our walkie talkie. <laughs> I want to kind of discuss through a dilemma. Right? As an adult, you have to contemplate transport methods. Right? Taxis automatically are a write off because uh, they're ridiculously expensive and at certain parts of the day, when you phone the taxi firm, you could be waiting up to an hour plus. Let's not talk about that time I had to wait four hours for one. That was a bad one. Alright. Okay, so, if you think to yourself, you know, if finances don't quite qualify to buy a car, use a bus. But the bus doesn't cover the same width and breadth of Scotland as it did pre-Covid and also post-Covid timetables are absolutely shambolic and uh, buses cut off much earlier than they should and you can't go into town and have a nice good evening out and think don't worry the buses have me right things are totally totally different. Trains are similar different but they do provide quite well when they're not on strike and when they're not uh, having signalling issues and whatever else. Uh, at this point in time because there's ass life, train strikes and stuff, um, trains and last the Barton, like 9 o'clock from City Centre, also known as Glasgow Central, or Glasgow Queen Street. Right, um, the cost for the tickets are actually pretty decent for what it is, especially in Strathclyde. Right, okay, dokie, I'll uh, uh, say that one. Um, and because uh, because of funding and stuff, you occasionally do hear stations reopening. That's quite a good thing. But trains don't cover at night, trains eight twenty four seven. You get it? Alright, so we've covered the taxi, the bus, the train, car is number four. Right. Cars are expensive, if anyone didn't realise. You more or less have to have a full time job to cater for a car and your house. Maybe even multiple jobs. Pain in the arse. Right. But a car can start no matter where you go and you can have your temperature uh, to your own taste, all that stuff. All that stuff, great. But the thing is, you're not just buying a car, you're buying a tax disc, you're buying insurance, car insurance, um, petrol slash diesel, AD Blue, and about a thousand pound worth of maintenance over a year. And that's where cars are financially hard to deal with. Right? You know, it is. Relying on public transport is hard because public transport is unreliable and at times a two mile journey can take up to two hours, which is as a nonsense, but hey, that's where things are going. I mentioned a bit of taxi, so that's pretty much all five covered. Bicycles. Bicycles are great because the maintenance cost it's only going to be a hundred pound a year. Insurance is optional but not mandatory. Um, but you've got to deal with punctures, which are a bugbear of any cyclist. And you've got to deal with other road users as being ill attentive and at times pretty nasty. Then you've got people 
uh, willing to fling disabilism at you just because you're wearing a helmet. Ironically, wearing a helmet actually potentially can prevent serious injury and life-changing uh, deformities and life-changing injury. So you know, I don't, I don't get why people make disabled remarks that people wearing helmets on bikes. You know, it's it's a very Scottish thing. If you are not doing that, you're probably from a place called Preston, right? But yeah, it's just it's so hard to choose what. But one thing that gets up my fucking nostrils is people causing your missus, right, and surprise, surprise, these are, uh, I've got two examples of such that were uh, performed uh, by um, bus drivers. The first one, I was with my mate in May Hill Road, and the bus was too close to the curbstones. And my mate may have been a, a wee bit close to the edge, but the thing was, if it wasn't for that one inch of difference, my mate would have been whacked to the fucking ground at 30 mile an hour. I mean, that bus was doing some fair speed. And because of uh, the emotions related to that, uh, I complained to the company, West Coast Motors, who owned Glasgow City Bus, and uh, I gave him a very blue response. And I said to him, you know, such things as, uh, you know, get your driver in on a, a vision check post haste and uh, stop employing sat first bus drivers. They're sacked for a reason. And a few other things, uh, they didn't really like my response, so they drummed up this aimed at status on Facebook. And I even asked him, is that aimed at me? They didn't answer. So I actually phoned her head off and said, was it actually aimed at me regarding what happened to my friend? And I went, no, 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 no. And I, like, I looked at him and went, yep, yeah, I do smell shite. <laughs> now, it was my turn to uh, be put on the danger line, as they call it. And uh, I was coming along University Avenue, it was a 15 bus, right? And there was a guy in front of us, his car Car was fine, car did absolutely fine. He put his indicator on, the driver of the bus let him do the overtake. I put my uh, hand out and it was nice, clear and pronounced where things were. And he just shot out into the lane without fucking indicating. And I could see the phone was actually held against the steering wheel as he was driving away. He shot away ill-attentively. I am fucking raging, might I say. Right, I'm just going to say it. Uh, we, uh, to go with this one, see, because of that, uh, because, uh, put it that way, um, <laughs> I, I, I had quite a, I got a salty response to prior, right? City Link, not City Link, sorry, City Link are absolutely fine. Uh, City Bus or West Coast Motors have uh, have uh, bad emails from the <laughs> to them. Yeah, that's the actions of a sewer loser and somebody that can't take a, a bit of a roasting. But hey, Ah, well, I'll maybe give him a tinkle on the phone tomorrow. Uh, it's getting quite close to my work shift time. Yeah, I mean, as for an average person, right, for an average person, the transport dilemma is a very serious, serious question to undertake, to be honest. It's really heavy duty. Uh, I would say the emotional reaction when uh, when my mate was nearly whacked by a bus was because I I seen it within a radius of maybe like one and a half meters. So you know, I would defy anybody to witness that and be completely neutral emotional about that.
But anyway, yeah, uh, what am I going to do with the, <coughs> the bus in question? Uh, to be honest, I have no fucking idea. Uh, but I've kind of nicknamed West Coast Motors, West Coast Motors. Is, uh, I have seen some very interesting driving manoeuvres from West Coast Motor uh, buses. And I'm not talking about the big boy coach here today, they're owned by... Place in Royston, Fairline, there we are. Am I giving tra secrets away? Fucking hell, I should get his camera stopped before I uh, tell any more on the truth. Just anyway, I think it's about time for me to shut my home and get working. Catch.